Welcome back crew to another beautiful day down here at 79th Street and the greatest show on earth and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host Broncos Guru in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back at the ramp. And here we go starting off fast we've got the Neptune coming in trying to dock it. So cab is coming a little wide gonna have to do a little brake check. Gonna make that turn back in. So it looks like we got Wifey with the boat hook in the hand. We've got somebody else up in the bow. I can't quite tell. It looks like he's got a line in his hand. So I mean, we got crew on the ready for this one. So Cap hopefully will get the assist. Coming in a little hot. Oh, we smacked. She tried pushing off with the boat hook, couldn't quite get it. And now she's pushing off, but she needs to go for the grab. And walks out with the line. And we've got those lines out, and our crew should be good to go. I mean, she tried to get that boat hook in there, just was going to push off, but Cap was coming in with just a little bit too much steam. They wind up smacking the dock. And this one can always quickly turn into a scene, especially around the boat ramp, as our crew is being towed in. So we're at least taking the slow roll approach, best method they could do. I typically would prefer if I was trying to bring somebody in on a dock, a hip tie where they were on the side of my vessel, just a little easier to control. Right here you've got very limited control because a lot of times as soon as you slow down you're obviously your line's going to become slack and you're going to lose all control and definitely no braking power or stopping power whatsoever when you're doing this now so we're coming in slowly once again, the line is slack now, so really they've got no control. They're just kind of at the mercy of where the boat's drifting, how the wind's pushing them. But I do like the approach speed. I mean, if you're going to come in, come in soft and easy. So our guy's in the bow. I'm assuming he's possibly going for a jump. And... I mean, they look close enough. I'd probably grab a line and see if I could toss it up. But they're going for the soft landing anyway. My man jumps. He makes it. And they're untying, and they look good to go. Pretty uneventful on that towing. Where did this person come from? There's somebody in the water. I didn't see anybody get out of the boat. They had to be being towed beside the boat the entire time. You can see them there. They're climbing up. But where in the world did they come from? There's no... They weren't in the boat. So our crews get unloading. And this lady does not look very thrilled about the idea of stepping up here. Actually, she looks really nervous about it. <laughs> and he's got her, but she's just, no, oh, goes down to one knee. And she's going to do the crawl method to get herself up on the dock. That is definitely one way of doing it. Crew's having to help her up now. But she just did not want to climb up at all. Send Wifey back into the boat for something. The old sandal grab. Up, up, and it fell in. One of the sandals is in the drink. Gotta make sure we do a secure handoff anytime we're handing anything over the boat. Cap's got the fishing pole, gonna fish it out.
And he's got it. And as the sun starts to go down here at 79th Street, we typically see things turn a little bit, and the people who start showing up typically appear to have been having a little more fun out on the water than some of the others. And we'll start seeing some things kind of like I believe we're about to see here as this crew was pulling up. You could tell our girl in the back is definitely had a little more fun than most, and you could tell that as they were coming in. And Cap's struggling trying to get him over to the dock. That could be a little bit of a sign as well. So his buddy goes for the reach, got the dock. Cap's gonna leave the helm. That's a pretty far jump, my man. Oh, he stumbles coming up, hands the line off, but I believe the line's gonna be inside their top now. And they're using an anchor line. Oh, man. So that front line's attached to an anchor in the front of the boat. Our guy goes for the toss. Good catch on the second one. But you're going to need to pull that in. That's not going to work from that distance. And this will get him put up to the side of the dock. And our girl in the stern, who looks like she's had a little more fun than most, is, uh, this will be the interesting part. I'm curious to see her make it up to the dock. So she's gonna get the double assist. <laughs> He's patting the ground like she's a dog, like, hey, come here. And they've got her up, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. This is probably not a safe spot for either guys. I would probably get her off the dock and into a vehicle. And my guy looks like he's trying to talk to her about something and she's very adamant about something else. if she's trying to get back into the boat, but I don't think that's a good idea. And you guys have got her halfway to one direction. Let's keep her out. So our next captain's pulling up. Let's see how his approach winds up. Good pace, not a bad approach angle. Now our guy looks like he'll land the solo dock, but it looks like he might just be doing a grab and go. And our crew looks like they're finally ready to get their friend out of here. And <laughs> She's kind of fighting him a little bit. They're trying to get her to walk down the dock. She doesn't want anything to do with it. But they finally look like we've convinced her a little bit. She's gonna start walking that way and they're gonna get out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boat, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got Boats vs. Hallover. Remain a machine, take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.